Hi there, it's Samantha here from Scanlink. I'd like to talk to you today about one of the most common questions that I get asked and one of the most common causes for confusion in the early stages of pregnancy. The standard and universal calculation of the age of a pregnancy is from the first day of your last period, which is most often referred to as your LMP. The average pregnancy requires 38 weeks to develop fully but the length of a pregnancy will always be counted as 40 weeks because we include the two weeks after your last monthly period before you actually even fall pregnant. It can be a little confusing, so let's look at how it all works. At the end of this, I hope to have demonstrated how unique and individual each one of us is and why some ladies that come to us expecting to be six weeks can occasionally be more weeks and quite often. So here we have an illustration representing 42 days or indeed six weeks. The first point to note is the textbook monthly cycle, which is said to be an average of 28 days. As none of us are average and each of us is unique, this can vary widely from woman to woman. To illustrate this, I've included what is more of a real life cycle. That's because so many ladies who I meet tell me that their monthly cycle could be anywhere from 25 to 35 days and even more or less than that on occasion. And not only that, it also varies from month to month. Let's move on to ovulation, another talking point. So the textbooks can vary in what they tell us, often indicating that the 28 day cycle lady will ovulate between days 10 and 14. But again, we're all individuals, so taking several opinions into account and drawing on my own experience, Ovulation can occur anywhere between days 10 to 22. I know this to be true as I've met many women in my career who could have only fallen pregnant well outside of the so-called normal window. Women who have tracked ovulation would also report that there's variation from month to month. Once ovulation occurs, fertility can last up to seven days up to the moment of conception. So as you can start to see, none of this is textbook. Our cycles are all individual to each of us. So we find out we're pregnant, we decide that we'll book an early scan and we decide to book that scan six weeks after our last monthly period. So let's look at an example. This lady who we'll call Mrs Mum has a long cycle and this month ovulation took place late on day 21. Intercourse took place on the night of day 20 and conception took place around day 24. Or oh, when incidentally sperm have a life of an average of five days. But again, this can vary. Before we talk about Mrs. Mum's scan, I'd like to touch on the subject of HCGs. This is a hormone known as human chorionic gonadotrophin and is only produced in pregnancy. As you can see in the example, if we were to measure Mrs. Mum's HCG levels, which unfortunately is not generally offered in normal then these would be the type of readings we would expect to see in a normally progressing pregnancy. In order to visualise a gestational sac by scan, the HCG level would need to be between around 1,500 to 2,000. If we look at the table of HCG levels on the left, this further demonstrates our individuality. The range is so broad. You could be five weeks with a level of 17,000 or six weeks with a level of just over 1,000. So let's get back to Mrs. Mum's scan. Due to her late ovulation and conception, then her scan would very likely show a pregnancy measuring around about five weeks. So when we get ladies expecting to be six weeks, we can see it's okay if it turns out to be just five. Let's look, have a look at what we would expect to see at five weeks. So here we have an image of a gestational sac and yolk sac. The yolk sac is the first identifiable element in an early pregnancy and provides nutrition to the developing baby until the placenta takes over towards the end of the first trimester. Let's take a look at another example of a lady who we'll call Mrs B. So Mrs B has a short cycle and this particular month she ovulates fairly early on day 10. Intercourse takes place during the night of day 11 and conception occurs within eight hours. And for anyone who thinks that's quick, conception can be as quick as three minutes after intercourse. 
if there happens to be an egg sat there waiting. So for this scan, Mrs B's baby would be measuring more than six weeks and would be more like seven weeks. So what would we expect to see on an ultrasound at seven weeks? Let's take a look. So here we have a lovely example of a seven week pregnancy with a good strong heartbeat. In conclusion, I really hope this goes some way to explain and also to reassure that pregnancy age can vary from what we might expect or what we may have read previously. Thanks for listening and take care. If you do have any questions, please get in touch.